At least 17 people have died and 40 injured after an explosion in Andhra Pradesh's Anakpelli. Well, the explosion took place uh, uh, in the special economic zone. The explosion occurred uh, at a pharma firm's plant in the special economic zone. The injured have been shifted uh, to a local hospital there. And uh, the local administration says the incident happened not because of a reactor blast. So the exact cause of the accident is yet to be ascertained. But there you can see uh, visuals of uh, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh actually taking stock of the situation and meeting the victims at the local hospital as well. Listen in to what the police have to say. DG Fire Safety and also an expert who is going to be part of this uh, team, uh, Mr. Pratap Reddy Garu. Uh, what is this? This is a wake-up call for sure because uh, we are talking about the biggest uh, number of deaths in many years in an accident here in the ACZ. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's definitely a very, very uh, tragic incident involving large amount of uh, human loss in the state in the recent times. We are taking it very, very seriously. We are going into each and every aspect of the incident, find out the root causes and address them. So Subara Jetty is from Jain Pharma City, which is also closely located. Normally, small, small incidents keep happening also there. And uh, we want to see that these kind of uh, tragedies are not repeated. All right, a senior colleague, Uma Sudhir, is now joining us live on the phone line. So, Uma, what exactly happened? Because this is certainly, as you put it, a wake-up call for the local administration. But what reports seem to suggest is that workers were at the factory trying to stop the leak, uh, you know, when this reactor blast took place. Has the exact cause of the accident been ascertained? Vedant, there were uh, 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 at least about 50 people in the very place where this accident in fact happened. Otherwise, the unit has about 381 people that it employs. It's a five-year-old unit and it makes both intermediary uh, uh, chemicals as well as the active pharmaceutical ingredients. And uh, this is a firm where a uh, chemical called M MTBI B is the uh, chemical that we are talking about. And that had leaked and it had fallen on some uh, electrical uh, uh, wiring there and subsequently that's what led to the vaporization of the solvent itself and uh, that solvent's flash point is said to, is said to be minus 18 degrees. While all that is, sounds very technical, what I must say is that it vaporizes at that temperature and can get inflamed at that temperature and a leakage in the tube there that is what has caused the accident and subsequently of course it blew over because there was a reactor in the same place with a fire starting, the reactor also burst and uh, led to this huge human uh, loss of life. What we also understand is that the first floor of this four-story building, in fact, the floor collapsed because of which people who were there, the workers who were in the ground floor, they also got buried under the debris, uh, causing this huge num uh, numbers of loss. Three significant things that I must point out. One, that uh, the Deputy Chief Minister has also said that there have been uh, several accidents that are taking place at the frequency of almost one every two to three weeks, and that's a matter of big concern for the government, and therefore... Safety audits is something that they want to uh, bring in, certainly. This has to be balanced with what uh, the uh, Chief Minister and uh, the uh, administration are also describing as that push for industry and jobs, which the Andhra Pradesh government has been talking about, but also along with stringent safety measures that they want to bring in. So one will be about fixing of responsibility in this particular mishap about whether there were any engineering lapses because uh, the Anakapali MPCM Ramesh, who we spoke to, called this as a human error and not really a failure in safety otherwise. So therefore, that is something that will have to be fixed through a probe. Second part is, of course, the victims themselves, a huge amount of loss of life and uh, at least 40 of them grievously injured and the government has announced 1 crore rupees to the families of the dead and 50 lakh rupees to those who have been grievously injured. Uh, the third part of it is about the, the road forward, saying that we will be uh, putting in place these safety guidelines for uh, industries uh, so that all of them will undergo a safety audit, after which measures will be taken through a monitoring body, which will then determine what kind of, uh, uh, you know, how frequently this needs to be monitored. Will it be, uh, you know, with the frequency of every month, every week, will they be having to give their reports? So while trying to ensure that there is ease of doing business in the pharma units in Andhra Pradesh, they want to ensure that safety is not compromised at all. Just to give you some perspective, Ashutapuram SEZ is one of the two pharma SEZ in North Andhra Pradesh, and it's an engine of growth not just for Andhra Pradesh, but for the country as well, you know, especially post-COVID when we are talking about making API uh, in India. Back to you.